Today, we're gonna find out what it's like to get bitten by a rattlesnake. But I'm not actually gonna take a bite. What I'm gonna do is find out what the venom does to my blood. Timber rattlesnakes have a neurotoxin in the southern range. And more of a hemotoxin in the northern range. We really want the hemotoxin. Because that's what creates clogging and other necrotic things to blood. And because we want to have a really good experiment here, we actually have a western diamond back as well. So this is definitely a necrotic type of venom. We're gonna go ahead and melt both of these. Yeah. Ah! But before we Daddy. actually get milking, ah. first off we have my protocol. And we have Lindsay, the registered nurse here on staff, just in case anything goes wrong. What do you say? We get into it. Now. Yep, you got it. Got it. Okay, so now I have the timber rattlesnake here. What we want to do is get a bite on this and get some venom extraction. There's about seven to 8,000 venomous snake bites in the country per year. Timber rattlesnakes and diamondbacks account for a small portion of them, but they are ambush hunters. We just got a little bit of venom out of this guy, not that much. We're gonna go ahead and let him get one more bite. Let him back off for a second. I can see some venom right there in his teeth. There he goes, there it is. I can see a little bit more coming out right now. Not a big venom yield, but normally timber rattlesnakes have a pretty large venom yield. Okay, now I'm gonna put it back. The dangerous part, Bruce, I'm gonna set down. Yes, sir. I'm gonna tell you to go and clear and that's how you do it we got enough venom i think to actually do this just a few drops is all it's going to take as you can see this is definitely a lot more hyper of a snake than the timber rattlesnake so it's a little bit more difficult i'm just trying to get his head positioned to where i can actually grab it it's about patience you don't want to rush this at all not giving me a lot of options here nope i've got to have that neck if i don't have that neck i can't grab him Here we go. Oh, he's, oh, look at the venom yield on this one. We definitely have a lot more venom yield for this guy. There's no doubt about that. Ooh, look at the venom that this one pumped out. Definitely about 10 times the venom yield that that timber rattlesnake does. This is gonna be a great thing to see what it does to the blood. That's enough venom right there, certainly to kill someone. Now the fact is, if you're actually getting medical treatment, about 99.5% of cases are treatable. So it's important to get treatment within the first two hours. Ooh, doggy, I wouldn't want that in my blood. But guess what, it's about to go then. Let me see, what we got? A good bit there. Wow, that's So what we basically have is a control Petri dish that my blood is gonna go into. To. Then two other petri dishes that my blood's gonna go into. One, the timber rattlesnake venom, which we didn't get much, is gonna go in. And then this big venom yield for the diamondback rattlesnake. And we're gonna find out what happens when this venom hits my blood. But I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. Lindsay's here to draw blood for me, and I would rather work with a venomous snake than get my blood drawn. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna put my life in her hands. Hopefully I don't pass out. Where are they? Maybe I'm nervous. Got some performance issues. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty nervous about this. Please do me a favor, smash that like button, hit the subscription bell. I'm literally leading for this video. This is blood, sweat, and tears. Because I'm sweating too. Got cotton mouth. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. Tell me that was all. Is blood coming out? I'm feeling wheezy. <laughs> Wait, just look at the venom. Woo. All right, this is the easy part. Actually, Lynch, you're really good at this. Thank you. We're gonna have Jay, the edutainer, do it, but uh, you know he had never done it before, so we thought a registered nurse was a good idea. Oh, no, the blood's flowing. <laughs> Can we get a popsicle at least? I should definitely get a lollipop for that. Yeah. Okay, great, good job. This is something that can be very dangerous. I've milked black mambas in Africa. I've done coastal taipans in Australia, tiger snakes, and even brown snakes. But trust me, it can be very dangerous, and I don't want anyone to make any mistakes out there based on this video. I'm doing this because I'm really curious. I've seen this before in videos, but never seen it in person, and I want to see what this venom will do to my blood. So this is the control group here. I'm just going to put a little blood in here. This will be the timber rattlesnake blood here, and then this is going to be the western diamondback. So there's not a lot of venom here with that timber rattlesnake. Just didn't have very much venom yield. So what I'm gonna have to do is be very careful and not waste any of this. But it doesn't take much. I'm gonna just put it right in here like this and see how it starts to react. I'm gonna cover the control group and now I'm gonna cover the timber rattlesnake. Now there wasn't a tremendous amount of venom going on there so I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of reaction there. But with this one, there's a ton of venom. Now I'm gonna use about half of this venom in this blood. And what I'm gonna do with the other half, I think it's gonna be interesting because I'm gonna inject it into a piece of meat just to see if there's any tissue breakdown with the venom. There we go. That's enough venom to definitely 
put a hurting on somebody. Now I'm gonna take a piece of meat and again, inject this right into the meat to see if there's any tissue breakdown. Shots anyone? Okay, so I'm gonna inject right here all the venom in. And this will simulate a bite and we'll see if it actually breaks down the tissue. Oh, guys, that gives me chills. I don't wanna be on the end of that tooth at all. And Lindsay is not only a registered nurse, but she's also a reptile lover. She came here to help me out with this kind of experiment, but she also brought me a gift. What did you bring me? I brought you a Baron's Racer. A Baron's Racer. Now this is a snake that is definitely a dream snake of mine. We actually saw some down at Lizardland when we were down in North Carolina. They were absolutely wonderful. So when Lindsay said she was gonna bring me this, I was over the top Now happy. these are a rear fang venomous snake but a very mild venom. But look at how cool that snake is right there. Of course, it's got that little appendage on the end, almost a little bit like a rhino rat snake. And sometimes these guys can come in actually a blue face too, which is a locality. But they are amazing little animals. I am so happy that Lindsay brought it to me. And they're really curious, really amazing snakes. This will be an amazing animal ambassador here at the Reptarium. Not only testing the blood for venom, but getting a really cool snake at the same time. Even after just 20 minutes, you can definitely see the Western Diamondback blood. It's it's starting to extremely thin out and stretch. And you can see that kind of lightness in the center is spreading out further and further in the edge. This is what's gonna happen to your blood if you ever get bitten by a venomous snake that is hematoxic like a Western Diamondback. And take a look at the color of the meat where I injected it with the venom. It's actually starting to turn a little bit more brown. Like the venom is actually breaking down the tissue and actually rotting it, a process that's called necrosis. And in that short of a period of time, you wouldn't even have gotten to a hospital most likely, let alone them starting to administer antivenin. And if you didn't see the fangs enough when we were actually getting the venom, Bruce brought us some stuff. Tell me about these. I get little rewards every now and then. So when I clean up some of the poop, I actually do find the occasional shed fang. I mean, this is like nine timber rattlesnake fangs right here i get them all cleaned up and i just sort of save them and i just think that they're it's just kind of my, my my little goal that i get for my animals so that's a timber rattlesnake and yes rattlesnakes will shed their teeth actually all snakes will shed their teeth so it's not uncommon for that to happen and you brought the western diamond back as well the western oh, so the cool thing is is like if you really try to take a look at the two like they almost look exactly the same but even but, but the snakes are so much different in size so it really tells you that western could truly pack a punch when it's at its full size oh, which is that timber yeah. westerns are going to get much much larger that's amazing and then in here it's really cool so this is the timber rattlesnakes buttons and they actually shake around right they're using this to warn you don't come around me right this is what they use and they'll actually every time they shed they'll get a new button and occasionally they'll actually break off the button you saw the timber rattlesnake had a lot of buttons could you imagine if it would have had all these buttons on it as well you know oh they can gosh. only get so long but that's amazing to see so like i mentioned and Lindsay had reached out to me and told me she was going to be bringing this little monkey up so we actually set up an enclosure just for him these guys love to climb they're very arboreal and they're very inquisitive so i think he's going to absolutely love this enclosure for the short term eventually has to get into a large enclosure because it's going to get like seven foot long pretty wide body take about this big around or so but i think it's going to be amazing look at how he's going to be able to climb around and really check the place out i tell it i cannot wait to show people when we're open here at the reptarium of course we could leave this blood here for the next few hours but it's been about an hour this is the normal blood and when i actually go like this look at how it kind of goes like that right coagulates in the middle here now this is the timber rattlesnake that just has a little bit of venom in the end but look at how much more loose that is is that crazy look at the difference a little drop of venom made the blood completely not coagulate and then this is the real one here with all of that venom let's take a look at what happens oh my gosh just look at that dripping like that like nothing. I mean, again, what happens in that venom is it's gonna just make your blood slowly deteriorate and the viscosity of your blood is gonna be really loose. That is amazing. After just one hour, we saw those effects on the blood. You can imagine that in your system for hour after hour after hour. Being pumped through with your heart. Oh my gosh, this gives me a new appreciation. I've seen this online, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Look at this, that one drop of timber rattlesnake blood. Holy crap, holy moly. That was like nothing. That look was... at the color difference too. <laughs> Oh my God, it's like clear on the outside. It's yep, like just at wiping the blood from the... Oh my God. That's... Oh, I, I get chills. That is chilling. You can already see the discoloration where that venom is. Let's see what happens after 12 hours. You can see kind of it's translucent in the area where the venom is. You can even see a little sinuate right here. Definitely see some decomposition of the meat. Really interesting to see this kind of thing. I was blown away at the small amount of venom from that timber rattlesnake that changed the blood. But this is pretty interesting too. You could only imagine if it was pumping through your veins with that venom. Oh my God. Wow, guys, that was absolutely incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. 
Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise. Oh, sh I just dropped it. <laughs>